Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Cobblemon 1.6.1 for Minecraft on your Mac device. So, let's get started. The first thing you'll do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you're interested. But here, all you want to do is go to your search bar and search up mod Rinth. Here just enter, and then you'll see modernf.com here, just click on modernf, and this will bring you to the modernf homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to discover content here on the top of the website, and you want to go down to mods. Now, all you want to do is go to search mods, and you want to type in Carbomon, and here you'll see Carbomon here. So just click there, and this will bring you to the Carbomon homepage on modernf. So all you want to do here is go to versions, and now what you want to do is find 1.6.1 here for fabric. We'll be using fabric. So it is for 1.21.1, it is for fabric, and it is Cobblemon 1.6.1. So just click the green download button, and from there, all you want to do is wait for it to finish. Here it is, it's done. And now you want to click on the fabric version name for Cobblemon. And now all you want to do is go ahead and scroll down, scroll down to the bottom, and you will see that we have dependencies here, called Fabric API. So all you want to do here is click on that button here, and now just like Cobblemon, you want to go to versions, but this time you want to go to game versions and select 1.21.1. And here we have all the 1.21.1 versions of Fabric here. So all you want to do here is click the top release for Fabric API for 1.21.1 and just click the green download button. And from there, all you want to do is go to a new tab. You want to go to search here on your search bar and you want to search up Fabric Minecraft. Here, just enter and you'll see FabricMC.net. Just click on Fabric and this will bring you to the Fabric homepage. From there, all you want to do is click the blue download button and you want to click the download installer universal.jar button here and now we have this file as it's a .jar installer you might not be able to run it so you might need to go to a new tab you might need to go to search and you might need to search up jdk24 and you'll see java downloads here on overcore just click that button here and this will bring you to this website so just click accept all and i will have this website linked in the description if you need it but all you want to do here is scroll down and you will see JDK24, you will see macOS, click these two, so make sure they are underlined here. And now if you have an M computer, choose ARM64 DMG, and if you have an Intel computer, choose x64 DMG. Just click these links here, download and install Java, and then you'll be able to go ahead and run jar files. Okay, so once you're done with everything, just close your web browser, and now go to your finder window, and then go to downloads. Here you will see fabric installer. So just double click it and it will get blocked. So just do done and then go to the top left corner where the Apple logo is, click it and then do system settings. And now you'll see system settings. So all you want to do here is scroll down until you see privacy and security. Click it. Now go down again all the way to the bottom and then here you'll see security. Here you'll see that fabric has been blocked here as it's a .jar file. So just do open anyway, then do open anyway again. And now it will ask us for our touch ID or password. So choose one of them. I'll just do touch ID and there you go. So now all you want to do for fabric installer, you want to choose 1.21.1 here in the version. Like so, 1.21.1 and I'll just do install. And you're done. So just do OK, close and close to keep everything clean. And now open up the Minecraft launcher. Up. Oh, this is how you open up Minecraft Java. So let's just wait for the launcher to open up and then we'll be able to add the mod. So here we have Fabric Loader. And this means you can go to Installation, see on the top. This means you can go and hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon as well. And now you'll see this page here. So basically, here we see that we have a bunch of files, but you will notice that we have a file called mods. 
So what you have to do here is double click it and here you want to go to downloads, you want to select Cobblemon and Fabric API, you want to right click and do copy. Now you want to go to this arrow here that points to the left to go back to your previous folder which is mods and now you want to right click and do paste two items and you're done. So now just go to the amount of launcher, go to play, make sure fabric loader is selected and click play. Okay, so once we have Minecraft here, all you have to do is go to a single player world for example and we'll just create a new world real quick. Okay, there you go. This also works on a server if you had to mod both on the server and on your computer or other people's computers as well. But here we'll just be playing it on a single player world. So immediately you can notice that we have a different looking tree and on the top right corner it asks us to do the M key to have our starter selection as well, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so this is Cobblemon here. This is meant to be used in survival, but we can also just simply use it in creative here. And you can see that everything works perfectly. So yeah, that's the first thing. And here we also do have Pokemon spawning naturally, as well as a bunch of Pokemon related things in our inventory as well. So yeah, that is how we download and install Cobblemon for Minecraft Java on a Mac computer. So if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.